Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Mona Project. We here at the Mona Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice, and I have one more story with respect to um, Rabbi Shalom of Karlin. This story comes to us uh, by way of uh, Rabbi Asher of Stolin, who was a student of Rabbi Shalom of Karlin. And he said when Rabbi Shalom of Karlin was on his deathbed, he would, uh, before, uh, when he knew he was dying, he, was, he said, I have to prepare what I shall have to do in Gehenna, in Gehenna, in the, downstairs, uh, what's commonly referred to as hell, but is, has different connotations in, in Judaism and I don't want to get into right now. But he says, I have to, I have to prepare what I'm going to do in, in Gehenna, uh, in Gehenna. He was certain that was going to be the end that was in store for him when he died. Rabbi Asher Stolin says that as he was dying, he had a vision of ministering angels coming to him to take him to the world, to come to take, us, take him to paradise. And, and they were joyful. And... and um, they were going to guide him to the, the highest uh, paradise. But Rabbi Shalom of Karlin, he refused to go with him. He refused to die. He, he says, no, it's not true. They're making fun of me. They're mocking me. This is supposed to be, the paradise is supposed to be the world of Amos, the world of truth. This is not the truth. This, I'm going downstairs, you know. At last, the way Rabbi Asher of Stolen says, the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence herself, came to Rabbi Shlomo of Karlin and said to him, Come, my son, out of mercy I shall give you of my treasure. And it was when Rabbi Shlomo of Karlin heard those words from the the Divine Presence, that he finally accepted, he was content, and he gave in, and he passed away. We're going to be doing uh, more stories along these lines. Please come back, please watch, please learn, and until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.